Hi, my name is uh, Albert Shin. I'm the writer, director, producer of uh, In Her Place, which is a Canadian Korean co production that's playing in the focus section here at uh, FNC. And uh, this is my first time here at the festival, but not my first time here in Montreal. I love this city, so it's great to be back and to be invited to present my film here. In Her Place is uh, my second feature film. I made a, a, a micro budget feature film uh, about four or five years ago called Point Traverse. And this is a uh, a film that is uh, an interesting film because it's a uh, it's a Korean film and if you look at it but it's actually a Canadian film it was produced by my production company here in Canada so it was a very unique kind of experience to take uh, my production company and kind of go to Korea and see if we could kind of marry the two kind of cinemas and see what would come of it so it was a kind of a, a scary proposition but also kind of a fun to kind of explore the unknown. My film Inner Place is about a, a secret adoption that happens on a, a rural farm in South Korea between a kind of an affluent city woman that is in desperate need of a baby and so she makes an arrangement with a pregnant teenage girl on a farm who is kind of forced to give up her baby by her mother because they don't have the means to to raise a, a baby so it's these women that come together these three women that come together on a farm and kind of wait out the pregnancy because she comes to stay with them and kind of hide from her family but also to kind of watch over the baby that's in the girl's belly which is kind of her investment so it's about this period of time during this pregnancy and them kind of coming together under uh, kind of a, a proposition that's not exactly uh, great, but at the same time, one where if everything goes well, uh, everybody kind of wins. But uh, so, and then and then things happen from there. So, it's uh, it's kind of a you know a, a drama. <laughs> we tried to find actors in Canada but it was just kind of impossible just because of the nature of the film and the language and it's, a, it's, a, it's entirely in Korean so we ended up having to find our actors in Korea which was an interesting process because I've never made a film in Korea I have no relationships with the Korean film community so everything had to kind of start from scratch so I had to get them to trust me and then get them to take me seriously and then it was kind of a slow process it took about five years from kind of the inception of trying to get this film made to today. So it was a, a long road, but a, a rewarding one. I'm, I'm definitely a fan of Korean cinema, so uh, which was some of the reason why I wanted to make a film there, mainly because I'm, even though I was born in Canada, I, I'm born to Korean immigrants. So even though outside the home, I'm, I'm very influenced by Canadian culture and society, but inside the home, you know, it's a very Korean home. So I, I didn't want to reject that part of myself and kind of, and obviously I'm more comfortable probably in the Canadian realm than the Canadian realm, uh, Korean realm. So I wanted to explore that, but it was interesting because there was not a lot of, uh, I didn't, I, like I said, I didn't know very much about the, the world, so it was a uh, kind of hard to navigate, but it was uh, it was it was fun. So my film takes place in Korea on a rural farm. So I had to do a lot of research on s secret adoption in Korea because it is something that was very prevalent and still is very prevalent today. And it, I thought it was very fascinating to because I guess the idea of bloodlines is so important in Korean culture, but having children is also equally important. So when you can't have children. A lot of times people would kind of resort to extreme measures to kind of at least create the facade that they have children and everything is okay. So I had to do a lot of research on that and it was, it was the more I researched the, the kind of like the stories I would see and hear it was pretty was pretty crazy and remarkable so I kind of wanted to touch on that a little bit so it was uh, the writing process was very long and, and I wanted to make a film that wasn't too wasn't too fantastical it's uh, it's it's a drama kind of grounded in reality so I wanted to make sure that everything that happens in the film could or has happened in real life for this film uh, kind of my influences were actually I try to steer clear from actually Korean cinema influences not that I'm not a fan of you know, uh, Bong Joon-ho or Lee Chang-dong or like these other uh, kind of master Korean filmmakers. Um, but it's just that because I'm a Canadian going to Korea to shoot a kind of a weird hybrid Canadian-Korean film, 
I didn't want, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going there just to emulate a, a Korean film. There's a lot of great Korean filmmakers out there and a lot of great Korean films, so there was no point in me going there to just make another one of those. So I wanted to make sure I brought something new to the table. So it was, uh, I actually drew a lot from Japanese cinema and also kind of uh, Canadian cinema and European cinema and try to mash it to together, not consciously, but subconsciously. I think that's what where my influences lie anyway. So I, I really wanted to make sure that I, the film that I would make would be something different. And whether or not it, it works or not was totally just totally just uh, on me <laughs> to see if, if I could pull this off or not. So it was, um, it was an interesting experiment, hopefully, that people, uh, people uh, can get behind.